Here we have the Heath Kit IM4180 FM deviation meter. We're going to do a little test here. We have it uh, powered up with the uh, adapter in the back, also made by Heath Kit. The red button on the left is power. Uh, you may hear a little click there. I have a speaker temporarily hooked up to it. Next thing you do is the next button over, which is the battery check. And the bottom right hand scale is the battery. If it's in the white, it's in the good range. This will hold 10 AA batteries. And the uh, adapter, which you can't see because it's in the back, will charge nickel, nickel cadmium batteries. And uh, maybe the neural ones too. Or you can just uh, put alkaline batteries in it and uh, not use the, uh, the adapter. The next thing you're supposed to do is go to tune and turn this dial till you find your frequency. I have a little HT here. Hello, test. One, two, three, four, five. Test, test. I went ahead and found that ahead of time. Uh, it's a little hard to tune in. It's very uh, sensitive. So it's got these different deviation scales. I'll, I'll push number two. Hello, test. One, two, three, four, five. Test, test. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take the other one, Des. Probably not quite as sensitive. Hello, test. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, hello, hello. It gets lower and lower each time. Hello, hello, test. One, two, three, four, five. In the instructions, it says to turn the gain all the way up. Um, I have the volume on for the speaker all the way up. Uh, there's a de-emphasis switch here, 750 microseconds at the top and 75 microseconds at the bottom. I notice I can't really hear it too well. The manual explains what it's for. I'll put it in the other position. You can't really hear my voice coming through. Hello, hello. But you can see the meter move. Hello, hello, test, test, test. So I had it there for you, so you could definitely hear me. And uh, this is the fine tuning knob. Hello, test, test, test. Now that I found myself, I'm going to show you something. I think the controls might be a little dirty from sitting so long. I'm not sure about these things, but listen to this. So there's definitely some popping in there. I had the cover off to see if there were any batteries in it. There were no batteries in it. Um, and it's a, a unit right here that's held, on, held together with three screws. I didn't take it apart to spray any cleaner in it. Because uh, it works. It just seems to have that annoying pop popping noise. Maybe it's cleanable with some uh, uh, electrical cleaner. Maybe not. But that is the... Uh, Heathkit IM4180 FM deviation meter.